Once upon a time, there was a little girl. But she wasn't too little and she wasn't too big. So she was just the girl in between. And this little girl had a bit of a problem. And the problem was she was always right in between. And what does that mean? It means every time she went shopping, like when she went for shoes, she would go with her mum and her little sister. And the shoe shop, the girl would find the most beautiful shoes that she always wanted to buy. But when the mummy asked the lady, can we have these in the size? Oh, your little girl's feet. I'm sorry, we don't have that size. We've got the smaller one and we've got the bigger one. But we haven't got size just for her. And so almost every time the girl would have to leave the shop either sad because she couldn't get them or mommy sometimes bought the biggest ones bigger than her feet were ready and so she had to wait and that was no fun whenever she went to buy some clothes she wasn't a size small and she wasn't a size medium she was just in between and so whenever she bought clothes they were either just too big or too tight or too small or too loose Whenever she went to the restaurant, the food was either too much or too little. And whenever she went to play, she either got bored very quickly or it, she got to go home tired. So this girl was always in between. Even when she went to the English Academy, or the Math Academy, or the Art Academy, or the Piano, or the Violin, the music teacher or the teacher would give her a test. And she wasn't in that level because she was too good. But she couldn't go in that class because she was too, wasn't good enough. Or she was too young for that class or too old for that class. And so she could really not find any class for her because she was always in between. Even when she went to the amusement park with her sister little Edithina and she tried to get on one ride Edithina could get on because she was the right size but her sister was too big and then she wanted to get on the ride with her daddy but she was too small and her daddy was just right so she couldn't ride on any rides at all at Christmas time when she wanted to buy a new bike the shop had a small one and the big one but they didn't have one that was just right and so this little girl lived for quite a long time very, very unsatisfied, quite miserable, miserable. Until one day, on a trip to England, walking through the forest with her daddy, she heard a noise and ventured into the woods all by herself. After walking for about five minutes, she turned around, but nobody was there. Daddy! She shouted, but Daddy couldn't hear her. It started to get dark, and this little girl... No, she wasn't little, and she wasn't big. This girl started to walk further into the forest. And then she saw a house. And she went into the house... And the girl was feeling very hungry. And on the table was three bowls of porridge. And she tried the first one. It was too hot. And she tried the second one. It was too cold. And she thought, oh, not again. Every time I do this, there's something too hot, too cold. And then she saw the third bowl. And she tried it. And it was just right. <gasps> well, the girl, as sad as she was to not be with her daddy, felt so over the moon to finally have some food that was just right that she gobbled it all up feeling very full and satisfied she thought mm, I want to sit down so she went over into the living room and the first chair was too hard and the second chair and the first chair was too hard and the second chair was too soft 
And she thought, oh, my luck is up. I wait all this time to get a food that's just right. And I'm back again, in between two bloody chairs. And then she saw the third chair. And she thought, hey, up. She sat on it. Lo and behold, the third chair was just right. And she sat there for about ten minutes. And she was feeling all warm and happy and pleased and not miserable anymore. And then the chair broke. And she said, oh, my luck is up. Feeling very tired now. This little girl went upstairs. She wasn't little, she wasn't little. She went upstairs because she wanted to go to sleep. Feeling quite satisfied now. She got in the first bed and it was too... What? Too... Hard. The second bed was too soft. And she thought, oh, I'm back to my normal life of being in between. And she saw the third bed and she went in the third bed and it was just right and she fell asleep feeling all nice because she'd finally found a day where a few things were were coming towards her, to her towards a dream they were in her favor she was she had the food that was just right the chair that was just right and now she was sleeping in a bed that was just perfect suddenly she was woken by a big roar and she looked up and there was a big scary bear the daddy bear oh is this sleeping in my son's bed the girl woke up and introduced herself hello I'm Sabrina who is it hello I'm Eleanor Hello, I'm Edithina's sister. What are you doing in my son's bed? Well, and she sat there and she told the three bears about her life of the last while being in between the clothes and the shoes and the food and the tests and the rides and all these things. And the bear said, I see. And the bears forgave this little girl, but she wasn't little. They forgave the girl for eating the porridge and for breaking the chair and for sleeping in the bed that was just right. And they said, why don't you live with us then? And they fixed the chair and gave it to the girl. And every day the mommy bear would make the porridge and the food for the girl that was just right. And even the little bear gave the girl his bed and he went to sleep with mommy because he'd always wanted to sleep with mommy since he'd left the bed with his parents for his own little bed so he was very happy to move back in with his mommy and so the little girl stayed there but she wasn't little she stayed there for about two nights and everything was perfect until there was a knock at the door and it was a policeman and said Mr. Bear, have you seen this little girl who's not little but she's in between everything? Her clothes are either too baggy or too tight. Her food's always too hot or too cold. She's either too young or too old or too smart or not smart enough. And she's got a sister called Ezina. And the big daddy bear went, Yes, she's over there watching TV, sitting on the chair. And the policeman came in and said, Are you Edith and his sister? And the girl took a moment to think about it. And before she answered, she thought about saying, No, I'm not. I'm the bear's uh, new daughter. But then she remembered about a sister that she missed and a daddy that she missed and all the people in the house that she wanted to be with. And even though she was in between she knew that soon she would just be right she would just be the right size and the right level and the right 
height and the right age. And the food would be warm enough if it was too hot and she left it a little bit. And she knew that when she grows up, it's all about being just right and not small enough and too big enough. And that's what life is about. It's going through the ups and downs of being too something or not enough something or too hot or too cold. And she said, yes, I am Edithina's sister. And the policeman thanked the bears for taking care of this girl and giving her exactly what she needed for a couple of days and took her back in the police car all the way back to where daddy was. He was waiting at the edge of the forest in a nice hotel and they stayed there for about three more days and they got Edithina and Mommy and Jaime and the other little bugger baby and they stayed in the hotel for a week and because it was a hotel they told the chef exactly how to cook the food for this Edithina's sister they got a bed exactly right for her and she was able to get some clothes made at this place and they made the perfect clothes and they went swimming and had just a fantastic time and then they went home and through all this time Edithina's sister who wasn't small or wasn't big had actually grown two centimeters and she could fit her clothes now and she learned so much that she got into that class and she was old enough she could go to the swimming class and the food was just right and so she wasn't the girl who was in between she was the girl who was all right between in the right the end